hi this is uh, Sunday uh, 29th of March um, this should this should have been uh, my log number nine of my pandemic series but just been too busy this week and uh, thankfully I'm still in a job uh, my business is um, still functioning which is which is good um, everything's gone online and anybody that um, doesn't get the class research notes that we do actually gets them in the post or via email so that's great um, obviously um, you know ca cash flow um, isn't as good as it was so it would have been nice to have had some help from the government and one of the key problems is is that the system was never set up for people who were self-employed at this present moment um, if you are self-employed like myself like six million other people in Britain you've got to um, wait for HMRC to contact you you can't phone them up or anything you have got to wait for them to contact you they will see that you're self-employed um, you'll have had to have um, been self-employed for quite some time like I have been um, and they will calculate then um, over three years what your um, average monthly income is and then they will um, deduct 20% um, off and then then by then by the end of June you'll get a payout which will probably be the worst of the pandemic over and done with and lots of people who are self-employed will be going to the wall anyway or have gone to the wall how can you survive through April May June and already so if you struggled for the past month then that's four months without money um, the problem is the self-employed system is that um, there's nothing in the process for if you're self-employed you don't get sickness benefit oh you, you know well start again you don't get sickness support because you're not employed um, in legislation an employer um, is obliged to give you either um, X amount of sickness um, payments and so on and so on, whether it's a third or full pay or whatever you know the stuff um, um, but now the interesting thing is is that the system in HMIC would should be that if they're able to know you're self-employed which they do um, after this outbreak there should now be a system in the taxes that you pay through national insurance to actually um, um, claim um, some assistance when ill um, when you're self-employed from HMRC because you're paying into that like somebody who's employed pays into a scheme which says that they get X amount of six sickness days so should self-employed people but that's another discussion um, one thing that I'm finding really difficult is that as a, somebody self-employed you know I provide a service I got vulnerable adults that I contact every week I provide a service I something of interest in their isolated homes archaeology I speak to all my students well 30 of them um, each week every single week once a week I have a conversation are you okay and anything you want to pass on and so on and then we teach online classes those that can't access their online classes they at least they get a phone call off us um, and they get some notes in the post um, but the thing is um, because I'm not a key worker um, to be honest with you like six million other people us key uh, us non key workers and those who have lost their jobs in employment from sort of um, you know if, if, if they were on working for Butlins or they they, they worked um, uh, for a fun fair or they worked in a museum or they worked for the National Trust um, or they worked on a farm that um, provides services for children um, and you know where I'm going with this um, we all actually all us all of us provide a service for society you know, we are the people who are on the front line providing respite for parents who got children that have got problems or respite because they're looking after elderly um, parents themselves we, we provide um, services all of us or you know in that in the industry that we work in um, the six million of us in that sort of um, care industry that catering industry uh, the amusement industry the tourism industry all that type of stuff we provide a service what about those adults that want to see their children um, and they would normally go to a contact center or or an event that they would go to to meet their children that's no longer there um, that's an important service that we provide to give them some experience I, I can go on and on and on and on um, 
but we all feel, I do, that I'm a second class system. I feel I'm unwanted. I feel I'm nobody in society. I've got no ro role to play. But the thing is, I've spent the past week um, trying to keep the people that have been coming to my classes in touch with each other. But that's not important. I'm not a key worker. I'm absolute scum. I'm absolute the bottom of somebody's shoe. I'm not important at all. That's how I feel. Um, and, I'm, and that's how millions of other people in this country feel. We're not key workers. We don't make a contribution. Oh yeah, we're not saving lives, are we? Um, you know, making sure that somebody's safe in their home. That's not saving anyone's life, is it? it makes me so angry, all this. Um, so, one thing I would say is that, you know, it's relatively quiet out there. And, however, um, next Friday, this is Friday the 3rd of April, there's going to be a much further um, shutdown, okay, is to keep people safe. I agree with that. But it's the way they're treating us. This is what I don't agree with. You know, people who are employed, um, I've heard of people who are employed, um, are still on full pay, but not asked to come in. If they're a government civil servant, they just get paid, right? We don't get anything, right? They ain't key workers either, some of those. And they're on full pay. I'm not at all. i I got to get through this. I'm not whinging, just saying the system's not fair. Um, and fine, uh, yeah, major crackdown on um, Friday the 3rd. When we mean major quarantine um, effort to try and curve the spread of the coronavirus and again it's good it's down to people last weekend millions of people last weekend going out in groups spreading this the fucking bastards and if they've caused any deaths right on them okay and it comes back and they die as well because those are completely irresponsible people and they've destroyed it for the rest of us anyway this is Carl James Langford pandemic log hopefully the next one won't be as angry but there you go